Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. So, this was the plan. Um, it didn't necessarily have to be a Harley Benton, but um, that's what got sent to me. I got chatting to somebody uh, who wanted to uh, do like a custom uh, refinish on a guitar, do some mods, maybe something with lights and crazy paint and all that kind of thing. And so after searching across the web for something cheap that we could uh, mutilate, if you like, um, I got sent the HB35 in red. Um, so, the plan was to strip the paint, back and size was going to be like a stained uh, purple, uh, front is going to be like a stained green, we're going to put a stripe down it, we're going to upgrade the pickups, we're going to upgrade the other hardware, we're going to put uh, LED lights in it, maybe. Stuff like that. Um, so, this is part one. And uh, this takes you up to painting. It ended up painting, not staining. But stay tuned to find out why. So here goes. So we're going to uh, power sand the back of this guitar. I've chosen the back first because uh, if it does mess up, it's easier to repair. 80 grit. Off it goes, and you can see it's buffing up the lacquer pretty quickly. Um, and it did take some time, about an hour, to get through it all. Now, at this stage, I've managed to get the paint off the back of the body using uh, my orbital sander. Um, I did the back first because if it did go wrong, then it's the back, so it's not so drastic as the front. Um, what happened was the whole the whole body is obviously a veneer. It's like a maple veneer, um, and it's very thin. And unfortunately, in places, it's gone through the veneer. But it's okay because there's no like set plan if you like for this guitar. It's just like let's do stuff with it and see what happens as we go along. So we've decided to uh, do a solid color still purple on the back and a solid colour on the front using spray cans. It's going to be good. So with this in mind now all I need to do is buff up the lacquer on the uh, front and neck which is great. It's going to uh, make that part of the job a lot easier. You can see I did uh, have a go with the stain on the back of the guitar and just to see what it would look like, it just looked terrible. So I filled in the, the bad bits and we're priming and I'm sanding and I'm priming and I'm sanding uh, to get as smooth a finish as I can and get rid of all those nasty spots. Um, using some, going up the grits, you know, as you do, go up the grits, uh, starting with 120, 180, 240, 300, 400, 600, 1000 and all of that. Uh, at this point, I decided to double check the tuners I, that I've been sent to make sure that they line up because if I need to fill the holes in now would be the time to do it. And uh, uh, the person this guitar belongs to wants all black hardware, so he sent me all black hardware. And yes, they do fit. Lovely, straight swap. So I don't have to worry about filling in them holes at all. And now we're on to the top colour. So uh, now it's all primed and ready and smooth. I'm just applying a bit of top, um, keeping it very light, so it's like dusting, really, dusting the paint on and building it up in layers and sanding between each coat uh, with the thousand grit. I, I tend to do it wet, um, keeping it even and going in all directions as well so you don't get the streaking, which you don't see on this bit, I don't think. But um, yeah, go sideways and go lengthways as well and just dust it on so you don't get any build up. Uh, this paint's very good actually, I'm uh, quite impressed with it, it's very affordable as well. And it looks quite striking I think, I quite like it, it's quite a nice colour. There you go. Uh, now I'm just going around and fine filling any little bits I can see, any blemishes, scratches. Scratches that are too deep to buff out and just uh, Keep repeating this process until you're happy with the finish. Um, and that's it really. And then sand away. Working back up the grits again. And then another coat. 
and I left this then to uh, cure for a couple of days at this point. Still needs a bit more work, but it's looking all right. <coughs> yeah. The product I'm using is this. It's uh, proper purple, proper purple uh, from Colour It. It's called Colour It from Paint Factory. Um, it's very affordable and it's very, very good as well. I'm finding it very, very easy to use. It's going on very smooth. It's easy to polish and it dries nice and fast. Um, it's an all-purpose gloss CFC free spray paint. And this brings me on to a little tip. If you're, um, when you're mixing this stuff, you're supposed to shake the can two minutes before you use it. It's a bit like a whiskey action and not an up and downy action. It mixes a lot better than doing an up and downy action. So I'll put a uh, link in the description for this if you uh, want to go and get yourself some of this and try it out. It's very good. Um, once this is all done and the uh, final coats are done, then I will leave it to cure probably for a, about a week. And I'll buff it up with the rubbing compound, wash it all down and lacquer it. And then leave that to cure and then buff up the lacquer. A lot of buffing. <laughs> And here we are so far. I think that's coming up quite nice. Got a little bit of a bit of dust on there. Get that off of there. Um, not bad at all so far. So, uh, any painters out there? What would you do? Would you buff this up before you lacquered it, or would you just lacquer onto this? It's pretty pretty smooth. I don't know. I don't know whether I want to buff this up some more. We'll just go ahead over that. It's looking quite nice. Anyway, haven't done that bit yet. Next video. If you like these kind of videos, then please comment, like, and subscribe. Helps me out in a big way. If you want to uh, keep up to date with how this is going, then why not click the little belly thing, and then you'll get notified when I put up a new video. Anyway, thank you for watching. See you next time.